So when I thought, oh, you know what I want to do? <laughs> I want to jet ski across the country. People said, that's impossible. Turns out they're right. <laughs> but then I said, well, what about jet skiing from Chicago to New Orleans? And they said, ah, it's physically doable, but it's incredibly stupid. And I said, let's do it. I jet skied from Chicago to New Orleans. We got some jumping fish! To try to raise $50,000 for Heifer International. Do the people at Heifer International know that this is what you're doing? So they could provide 500 goats and 1,000 chickens to African families in need and help create a sustainable economy for their communities. And I really thought I could do it! Let's get wet for goats! Really gonna ride a jet ski you to are. New Orleans from Chicago. Yes. There's no way you do this. Let's run down every reason why you're not qualified. Uh, you haven't been on a jet ski in over 15 years. I'll figure it out. You're not a good swimmer. You don't have a waterproof phone, so you have no real sense of where you're going. But I believe in myself? <laughs> yeah, you're not doing this. I'm happy you guys believe in me, so thank you. Yeah. You wanna do a show? Let's do no, a show. How fast are okay. you gonna be going on this jet <laughs> <laughs> He's never gonna 20 stop. 20 miles an hour? You don't even know? <laughs> How do you keep pirates from stealing uh, just the jet ski for you? <laughs> Pirates are gonna steal your jet ski, go. then you're just gonna be stuck like in the middle of the country. So I'm excited you guys are here to see me on possibly on my last day of being alive. <laughs> I'm nervous about jet skiing from Chicago to New Orleans. Somewhere in here is what we're doing. This is how well organized this idea is. So here it is, this is the route that I take tomorrow. Chicago to TPD? <laughs> I was wondering if everybody would be willing to come up on stage so we can get a photograph, like a class picture for this night. Ready? Let's get wet for ghosts! Thank you very much, everybody! I'm happy you exist. Kurt is actually facing 1,200 miles of waterway on six different rivers. Part of that, like the upper Mississippi, is never designed for recreational boating. The hazards we face on the river include changes in weather, opposing heavy commercial traffic. We also have to be facing the fact that there aren't any gas stations along that way. So we have to have a land support team that is with us at all points in time. Hello, fellow Chicago mites. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day of eating bowls of cheese and being into sports. <laughs> I stand before you now tremendously honored to take my place in the pantheon of great explorers and adventurers. Men like Ponce de Leon, who sought the fountain of youth and instead discovered Florida, where people now go to die. Why do I choose to jet ski from Chicago to New Orleans. Because every day, 870 million people go hungry, and that's unacceptable. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to now welcome the mayor of Chicago. Not even gonna use the stairs. Thank you so much, mayor, for being here with us today. I really appreciate it. I'm not the mayor. Let's get wet for go! You really shouldn't, you shouldn't cheer for this. He's not going to accomplish this. Here we go. I have no faith in you. Ah. Here we go. How do we, uh... Oh. Let's get wet for go! waving because you know he's going to die, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah! What is this? 
It's a lock. What does it do? I don't know, but it stops us. It's closed down. There's a double wide tow coming through, which means we have to stand around for three hours to move one mile on the river. I'm sure at some point during the six months while we were planning this, someone mentioned locks to me, but I wasn't paying attention. I was dreaming about jet skiing. <laughs> and it turns out there are 22 locks between Chicago and St. Louis. That's just the first 150 miles. Each one is a potential four hour delay. So immediately it's like the trip is over. How many miles have we gone so far? About a mile. About a mile? But we've raised $12. Hey, hey, you're going to fail. Seriously, you're gonna fail. This is a stupid idea. No, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do it together. Yeah. We'll do this for goats. We'll Get do this for goats. chickens. Yes. We'll do it for Africa. I love it. We'll do it for America. Yeah. I was gonna jet ski away, but we're in a, a lock. Yeah, we're in a lock. God damn it. I know. We are seriously fucked. Guys, thank you so much for watching the first episode of Roused About. If you still want to help out, click on the link to heifer.org right here. Help make the world a little bit of a better place. And watch the next episode of Roused About. It's around here. Click on it. It's just a click. I don't know where it is, though.